Eating sausages with electricity is a classic, but can it be used to toast bread as well? Let's start with measuring the resistance to see if there's a chance to run some current through it. Well, it's significantly less than the human body, so it should be possible. Of course we need to put the bread between two flat conductive surfaces to run current through the whole piece of bread and get it evenly toasted. Tin foil and a clothes iron with a solid metal base. The clothes iron will not be turned on during the experiment, you will have to take my word for it, but it will be electrified by a cable taped to its metal surface. Let's start with a low DC voltage. Putting two 15 volt power supplies in series gives us around 30 volts. The current through the bread can be read from the power supply. By pressing down on the iron, the bread is compressed, reducing the distance for the current to travel, thus reducing the resistance further, allowing more current to pass through. We're actually able to run a decent amount of current through it. Let's see the result. It's certainly hot, but it's not toasted. We need more power. Now it's hooked up to the mains electricity, 230 volts. The current through the bread can be read from the multimeter. It smells like garlic. Success! But it's only toasted on one side. Let's do another. Oops. Okay, out of fear the toast starts sweating, resulting in a better connection to the metal surfaces, allowing too much current to flow through. The piece of bread needs to be drier. There, let's try again. Nothing? Sixty milliamps? Well, that's disappointing. It's too dry. Well, it did kind of work, but the result was not to my satisfaction. The bread is suddenly partly toasted, but it didn't receive the even toast texture I was hoping for. And it didn't actually taste very well. My recommendation is to invest in a dedicated toaster for quick toast making. Thank you for watching.